What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Yeah! Coming at you today with a booty, booty focused workout. Glutes only here today. Guys, I was just featured on bodybuilding.com with my full lower body from home body weight workout routine. So I'll have that link down below in case you want more. But for today, guys and gals, let's get that booty pumping up in here, all right? Just because we're quarantined don't mean nothing, all right? We can still get it going on. The beautiful thing about today is there's no lunges and no squats, y'all. Mm-hmm, yay. So for this, I do like to do about 12 to 15 reps, three sets, because it is body weight, you could probably do more. So just do what's comfortable for you. That's just typically what I like to do. So let's jump into it. But if you are new to this channel, what's up? My name is Ashley. I make new videos every single week on all things fitness. So definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Let's go. All right, guys. First, we're starting with donkey kicks. Let's get that booty pumped. So the trick to this workout is really just kicking straight upward. Don't worry about kicking out this way. Straight up, okay? Straight up and really squeeze that glute at the top, okay? Even if you wanna pause for a second or two when you reach that full flex, then come slowly back down. That's where you're gonna get those gains. Next, we are going to be in that same exact position, except we're going to be performing hydrants, okay? So knee gets extended outward, perpendicular to your body, just like this. This works the entire side of your glute, girl. You're gonna be burning up. They're called hydrants because they get it from a dog, you know, when a dog pees on a hydrant and it just sticks its leg out like that. Yeah, it's a little crazy, but whatever. about to do some glute raises or frog raises, whatever you want to call them. They have a bunch of different names. You're going to go ahead and get on either the end of a couch or the end of a bed, all right? I'm just using my bench because it's right here and convenient, okay? But use a couch or a bed. So once you're at the edge of a couch or a bed, make sure your hip bones are right at the end here, okay? Grab onto something, anything you have in front of you just to remain stable. You're gonna put your feet together like this, like a frog pose, and you're gonna kind of just lift and thrust it upwards. Hold it for a second, slowly bring it back down, never fully stopping or resting. Just keep it going through the movement. Really engage the glutes at the top, because this is gonna burn up your whole glute, baby. Act like you're trying to touch the ceiling with your feet, okay? So straight upwards. The reason why you want your feet touching like that for two reasons. One, it helps to isolate the glute better in that position, the way your feet are touching. Second, it helps with stability, okay? So you're not all loose like this. Ugh, ugh. Keeps it nice and balanced when you have them together. They work together, baby. Yeah. So now that we're on the bench or your bed or wherever you are right now, 
we are gonna perform some rainbows. Guys, if you feel safer, totally do this on the ground, okay? If you're new to this, no shame in that game, okay? I like to personally have range of motion when doing this exercise. I just feel it more, it's more intense to me. So you're just gonna go like a full rainbow, like this. Always make sure that your upper body, wherever you are, is nice and stable, core is tight as always. Breathe in, breathe out, or else you're gonna fatigue very easily, okay? We don't want that. You having fun yet? Yeah. So next up are Supermans. This is an exercise that I swear by. If you want your glutes to be on fire the next day, you wanna be hurting in a good way, you gotta do Supermans. So you're going to be flat on your stomach, hands raised above your head, straight forward. Same thing with your back legs elevated. These are holds, so your glutes gonna be under constant tension the whole time. You will be shaking in no time. That's perfectly normal and you want that because every time you're shaking and your glutes be shaking, that's when you're really getting those gains. Believe it. Let's do it. Guys, next up we are doing bridges. You can do this flat on the ground or if you want a little bit of a challenge, a little more range of motion, you can totally grab yourself the couch or the bed again and do some elevated bridges. So this is going to target a little bit of the hamstrings as well, but it's still very, very much glute focused. You're gonna be laying flat on your back while doing this exercise. But when you do thrust upward into the full bridge is where you wanna make sure you're squeezing those glutes as hard as you can, girl because that's where the growth is gonna come from, in the squeeze. extended clamshell. You're gonna do this on the ground. You're gonna get on your side like this, arm underneath you perpendicular to your body. You're gonna put your feet in the position of how the frogger was, okay? Together like that, like so. So after you got your feet all positioned, start with your legs closed. In one swift motion, you're gonna bring your entire lower body up like this, okay? Like, like as if you're a clamshell, okay? And you're extending upwards like that. You're gonna notice all the pressure at full extension right here, okay? Right on your side glute. You're also abducting at the top here, so you will feel it up here as well. But most of the pressure comes from where the gravity is settling. You're gonna feel it right on your hips. This is what's gonna help you get the hourglass figure, wider hips, side glute muscles, very important. You want that booty to pop.
Okay, last exercise of the day, we're gonna be performing a lying hip abductor. You can lie on your side, on a couch, a bed, or on the ground. Again, totally up to you. I like to be elevated for more range of motion, girl. You know I like that challenge. So if you're laying flat on the ground, you're basically just bringing your leg extended up like this, okay? You're gonna feel it all on the side of your glutes. If you are on something elevated, you're gonna wanna stretch your legs past your knee like this, just to extend your range of motion. Come straight up, go back down again, come straight up, very simple, and then you're gonna do it on both sides. How you feeling? Feeling all right? I'm actually perspiring. Body weight's no joke, all right? Forget what you heard. All right, y'all, so that was it. That was my full body weight boot hay exercise. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helped you during this time. Lots more videos like this to come, so definitely don't forget to subscribe. And also, if you're not already, definitely follow me on Instagram because I do about like three, four, sometimes five workout videos a week pretty much everything from home. I'll have my handle and everything linked down below. It's at Ashley Gata, so definitely look me up. And definitely be sure to subscribe for our new videos on all things fitness every single week, because together we got this. I'll see you in my next video.